Today I call you for help. I call you for action, for solidarity, empathy. For seven human rights defenders of the Vyasna Human Rights Center, the leading and prime human rights organization in Belarus, a member of the Global SOS Torture Network of the OMC team. They are detained for giving a voice to victims of human rights violations and torture. Today is our responsibility to give them a voice about their fate and their situation in detention in Belarus. Exactly one year ago, Marfa Rabkova was detained just because she did human rights work. Uh, just at the day the United Nations prime human rights body was about to discuss torture, abuse, police violence, arbitrary arrests and all these violations and impunity. Since then we have seen, even for Belarusian standards, a systematic, unprecedented crackdown on human rights work. The leading assumption seems to be, if there are no human rights offenders, if there are no people that document human rights violations, that speak out, that work with victims, that rehabilitate them, that help them, there are no more victims, there are no more violations, there is no more problem in Belarus. We have to prove them wrong. We should speak out, mention their names, we should call on our governments to act. We should make sure that the international community does not forget those names and that the cynical calculation of a Belarusian government that no human rights defenders, no victims will not hold true. I think it is important that we all remember and all speak out their names. Alice Bialetsky, the director of the organization, uh, primed with various prizes for his courageous work across the years. Valentin Stefanovic, a wonderful person and human rights offender, just the same as Ulatsmir Lapkovic, Leonid Sudalenka, Tatiana Lasica, Audrey Chapuk, and Marva Rabkova. They stand for the many more people that take the courage and try to hold their government account and to support victims. Let's stand with them, use your influence, make your voice heard, make their voice heard. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for anything you can do to help in those cases.